Hey, what's up? This is Tom Froming from TwinsDaily.com, and today I'm going to be starting up. This is the first of a seven-part series that I'm going to be doing on Baseball Savant slash StatCast Data. Where can you find it? How do you navigate that website? Um, and like I said, I'm from a Twins site. Uh, I'm a Twins fan. But this information is going to be, really, you can apply this to any team. So if you're a fan of another team, I am going to take more of a Twins-focused sort of walk through all this stuff. But hey, if you're a fan of another team, this is going to be able to teach you how to find stuff too. Uh, so everybody's welcome, except for Yankees fans, as always. I'm just kidding. I hate all your favorite teams equally as much. So <laughs> anybody's going to be able to find use out of this. So I, I suspect most of my uh, people who watch this, so people who follow me on Twitter, I'm uh, TF Twins on Twitter. Uh, but, you know, let's just get into it. I'm not try, I'm going to try real hard not to waste your time. So uh, we're going to go to the game feed. This is where you can see the basically the information is coming in live as the game's going on. So this is a really neat thing to have up on your computer while the game's happening. And it's just there's just tons of data just in this one feature on Baseball Savant. So that's where we're going to start today. But like I said, this is a seven-part series. I'm going to try to rip through these daily. So hopefully this week I'll have all these done, but let's get right into it. Game feed. Let's do it. All right, so here we go. This is the home page of Baseball Savant. Uh, and we're going to go into the game feed. That's uh, where all the information's on the individual games are. So we'll hop into this. The most recent one while I was recording this was a Twins Royals game. And the first thing you get into is the game exit velocity, and that's all listed out in reverse chronological order. Uh, so you can see basically any batted ball events can be on here, but you can also sort that out. So if you want to know the hardest hit ball of the game, uh, you can see right there, you can sort by that. Uh, launch angle, distance, uh, pitch velocity are all on that one. Expected batting average is that last column. Uh, the next drop down though is pitch velocity, and it's basically the same idea here. Uh, you can see you know, the pitch velocity, who threw the hardest pitches, uh, and just sort of sort through everything. Uh, by default, they are listed in reverse chronological order. Uh, there I'm showing that Kyle Gibson threw a 95.5 miles per hour two-seamer. So, you know, if you want to get really specific and try to track some stuff down, uh, this is a good spot you can start from. There's a ton of other stuff that's in this game feed. We'll drop down. Uh, let's see what's the next one here. Okay, so yeah, then you can see either the home or away pitchers. So you can see this is a breakdown of pitch usage. Uh, that nice little chart gives you a visualization of uh, how many pitches, specific pitches, each one, and then down at the bottom for each, you can get the swinging strikes, call strike, foul balls, balls in play, and then the pitch velocity and exit velocity average on all those. So if you pay attention to this screen enough, you can get kind of an idea for how guys are pitching, and then from game to game, you can see a little differences here and there and, and notice uh, certain trends and stuff like that. Uh, so it becomes a pretty fun thing to keep a, keep an eye on if you're tracking, especially a certain starter over time. They have a similar kind of a screen for the hitters as well. You can get that same information for each of the hitters for the team. Uh, and up top was sort of a zone chart for each guy as well. There we go. Then they have this crazy tool, 3D pitch visual visualization. This thing is wild. Uh, basically, you can see the pitch track, the, the trail of each pitch that was thrown in the game. And there's all these sorting tools up here on top. I'll probably get into some maybe more specific stuff uh, another time. But basically, you can filter this out if you're looking for specific things. You know, swinging strikes is the one I've got up here. And you can really look at... You know, how did that pitch break? How did it come out of his hand? Um, you can load a hole at bat and kind of see how a guy attacked a hitter. Um, all sorts of different things you can uh, specifically try to go find in this, in this one here. Uh, you can sort it out by inning as well. I think, I've, yeah, I've got this set to the eighth inning. And then you have views. You don't just need to get the home plate view if you don't want it. There's many different views up top, you can get on either side dugout, so you can see the drop really well. It's just an amazing thing to tinker around with and look at. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, and then you can actually load specific at-bats uh, and take a look at the pitch charts on. So I remember uh, Jorge Soler got thrown out in this one uh, for arguing balls and strikes. But you know what? It was actually ended up being Terrence Gore. It was in the middle of an at-bat, so he got thrown out. So it'd actually be a Terrence Gore at-bat. You can see, there we go. So I've got it. You can have it viewed a few different ways. Now I've got it as where it'll show called strikes. So that first pitch was a called strike, and that's what uh, Soler got thrown out for. Uh, you can kind of understand why he'd be upset there. A uh, pretty cool thing to do. And again, this is all in game feed, uh, just in that first top left drop down. And then you can look at all the home pitchers or all the away pitchers if you just want to see everybody. And each one of these games is a preview. Uh, so even if you're looking before the game, and look at all this cool stuff that's just on the preview. That was a snapshot. So this game feed is pretty amazing, a really cool tool, tons to look at. That's where I would start if I was first coming to Baseball Savant. All right, there you have it. That was some info on the game feed. Again, this is where I would start. If, I, if you aren't very familiar with Baseball Savant, this is probably where I'd start poking around and learning about stuff. Um, tons of neat information and it's live. So it can, it can honestly help you enjoy baseball more. And that's like the coolest thing ever. Like, how is that even possible to love baseball anymore? So that's, that's what gets me really fired up about some of this stuff. And it just, just kind of opens up different things to think about. But, uh, you know, again, that was sort of a scratching the surface. Uh, I may go into some deeper stuff once this sort of baseline series gets done that's scratching the surface if you have any questions let me know i'll do my best to answer them or you know if you you want to help me out and, and help some other fans out try and help me out and answer some questions down there too if we get them um you know i'm certainly not the foremost baseball savant expert or something that's not what i'm here to do um, i'm just trying to share some of the knowledge that i have and again just help people you know if you're interested in this stuff and the only barrier is that no one's been able to to show you the ropes you know i want to be that guy to help you know get you through that door this isn't everybody's cup of tea and that's fine um but if you're you've been interested and it's just been a little tough you know i know when i first started going to baseball savant i didn't know where anything was uh, and it took a long time to figure that out and i'm constantly learning stuff doing these so i'm sure as i do these videos i'm gonna find new stuff so i'm super excited again tom froming i'm from twinsdaily.com uh, TF Twins is where you can find me on Twitter. If you've made it this far, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you so much, and we'll be doing another one of these tomorrow. Have a good one.